The eyes of the modern army are in the air. Eyes sharpened by the finest instruments that detect and record the slightest suspicious detail. Truck convoys, sun reflections, tire tracks in grass. The discovery of an installation practically amounts to its destruction. A bivouac area spotted is a bivouac area lost. The extremities of roads are the first thing the enemy will investigate. Dead ends or turnarounds must not exist in the immediate vicinity of the bivouac. An abrupt road end always arouses suspicion. Here is a deadly clue for the enemy. It will be obvious to him that many vehicles have traveled the road to the bivouac area while few have gone beyond it. To deceive an enemy observer, the first requirement is careful selection of the bivouac. With the aid of a map or photo map, a close study of roads and covered areas is made. The reconnaissance officer must inspect the site tentatively chosen, checking the availability of roads and paths, as well as the tactical value of the position. The bivouac may be occupied for one night or for weeks. Consequently, the location of all installations is planned in detail. Particular emphasis must be given to the amount of concealment offered by the overhead cover. After arrangements for the reception of troops and vehicles are made, the convoy moves out. In close column, these trucks would be like ducks in a shooting gallery from an air attack and a heavy dose of machine gun strafing. Don't forget, the enemy flyer is on the lookout. If he spots you, it may mean the failure of a mission. Vehicles in convoy are usually spread out. Maintain an interval of about 100 yards. Having reached the approach road, the convoy turns in while the security detachment moves on ahead. Don't miss a trick in hiding places of the maneuver. Signs remind everyone to stay within the boundaries of the taped areas. This prevents the widening of established roads and ensures that no tracks will be made across open stretches. Guards are posted to enforce orders relating to camouflage discipline. Guides or route markers control traffic. Remember this about standing grass. It has a certain darkness caused by the shadows of the individual blades. When they have been crushed, the shadows are no longer present and the tracks appear lighter. You can be sure the enemy will not overlook these tracks, or you. Short tracks can be eliminated by brushing up the flattened grass. When loose dirt is flattened, the tracks also become lighter than the undisturbed ground. When you enter the bivouac area, move in promptly. Don't halt or close up in the open. After you're under some cover, if necessary, shift your vehicle around to make sure you have proper dispersal and full concealment. Be smart. Drive in far enough to take full benefit of overhead cover. If possible, Park in the shadows of trees. The eye and the photograph see only the shadow and not you or your truck. Even in country that may look fairly open to you, there's usually cover to be had if you look around. but you may still be in trouble. This scout car was invisible in the morning. Now in the afternoon, the sun has shifted and with it the shadow that protected it. Your vehicle's windshield and headlights throw reflections that are easily spotted from the sky. 
Get your truck to its proper position. Then eliminate these reflections with a blanket or shelter half. Natural materials such as leaves will also mask these danger spots. Eliminate the black hole caused by the shadow in the back of the truck by rolling the canvas down. If the overhead cover isn't enough, use some branches and small trees, but gather them at a distance so that the cutting will not draw attention to the new position. Be careful to trample through the underbrush as little as possible to avoid a network of tracks leading to the bivouac. Place branches so they will appear to be part of the surroundings. If placed upside down, the leaves will stand out like a sore thumb because of their light colored undersides. Here's something you might not think of. Trees from certain families, such as the pines, should never be used in the same spot with completely different types, unless, of course, the existing growth is mixed in the same way. So be sure you match the natural foliage. Don't ever use withered material. Its light color causes it to look artificial from the air. The use of fresh foliage is imperative. Too much material may also spotlight the installation. This is because the natural shadows between the leaves are crushed out when branches are piled in a mass and the truck looks like a brush pile rather than a dark green tree. If the shadow of the truck is in sharp outline, break it up with the irregular shadow of a small tree. This truck is properly camouflaged. The aim is not to cover it completely, but to break up its regular man-made form and shadow. Your vehicle's camouflaged. You are now ready to prepare your own shelters. Tents are not normally pitched in daytime unless they are needed for protection from the weather. You must watch out for practically the same things as with your trucks. All reflecting surfaces should be under cover, their outlines broken up. Eliminate the black hole of the tent's opening with a blanket or by removing the front pole. If the bivouac area is not already concealed by heavy foliage, follow the procedure used with the vehicles. Break up shape and shadow. Remember the risks of faulty camouflage. Place natural materials right side up. Make certain they harmonize with the surroundings. Try not to be the unthinking soldier who underrates the danger from above created by his movements. Don't imperil the safety of your comrades by your carelessness. Don't leave belongings and debris about under the delusion that the objects are too small to be seen from the air. This is seldom true, so why take a chance? Anything light colored is a certain giveaway to the enemy. You cross a grassy stretch, Someone follows, and a trail is blazed, barely visible from the ground, but showing up like an arrow to the enemy aviator. Take particular care with shiny materials. If a plane sees even one quick flash, you're bound to be thoroughly investigated. The field kitchen and mess line must be especially well concealed. The new smokeless gas range eliminates any need for open fires in the area. Never forget that the slightest evidence suggesting that the terrain is being used for bivouac purposes must be avoided. Once the position is occupied, it is essential that no change in its appearance be made. The enemy undoubtedly has numerous photographs of the area shot at different times. By comparing them, any changes that you have made will be easily detected. The importance of proper camouflage cannot be overestimated. This bivouac, seething with activity, is correctly camouflaged. 
It cannot be seen from the air. 